We're getting ready to do some dog sledding. Snow hook in Willow, Alaska. Got a big fire pit. These are the new age dog sleds. The old school dog sleds from 1970s. You feel them already trying to pull the cart. They're ready. They're ready to go. You ready? the baby pools for? What's up? The pools, what are they? Oh, so <laughs> when it's warm out, we stop next to them so they can get warm. Out. Oh. It's been so hot this summer, right? Up until this year. They dried our pond out that we usually dry the dogs through. We're going to make a sharp right up here, guys. Gee! That one that's third up on the right. He walks crooked. He wants to go faster than I'm letting him go. Oh, okay. See, we're trying to normalize everybody running at exactly the same pace. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Do you join this? Oh, yeah. I guess you know, this is, actually, this is legitimately how I train dogs to be sled dogs. You have to start with this raw group of talent work them to where they start working together and build that team. In any given year, these dogs will run three to 4,000 miles. So far, these guys have been pulling not only our weight, but against the engine to kind of normalize their movement. Let me show you this. Easy, guys. Easy. They actually are pulling it. Whoa. Not pulling. Oh, yeah. I've been using the engine to slow them down. Bathroom break. And I'll give you a, uh, we'll, we'll show you how this looks in just a sec here. Hey Lindsay, I went down the driveway. I oh, my radio's off. I first thing trying to call me. I'm down the driveway, Lindsay. Hank, you're ready. Okay, sounds good. I'm in new load. I'll catch up to you in a second. 
You're ready. You're ready. You're ready. There you go. Buddy. So as soon as Buddy quits, here's the thing. They know they're on a tour, so they're going to screw around. <laughs> um, to, you, to them... You gotta poop, you gotta poop. To them, you guys are essentially <laughs> substitute teachers, and so they're like, oh, we do whatever. They're misbehaving. <laughs> but to get a dog team ready to go, you simply say ready, and you'll see, and when I say it, you'll see them all line out. Ready? Ready? Look at that. There you go. All right, let's go, guys. So this is them pulling about 3,000 pounds. Now, I don't, they've burnt out virtually every brake we have on these machines because of this. And that's part of the reason we use the engine as well. Is it, that slows them down much faster. Doing good guys, keep going. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, let's go, let's go. We stopped here yesterday and they remembered it and so they all have to pee on stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, get ready. So I've trained these guys not to pull to really engage until they feel a little bit of movement. That way when you're on a the sled, they don't take off um, if you're not on the sled. And so ready? All right, let's go. Do you put them in a certain order by strength of the dog? Um, sort of, kind of. Alright guys, let's go. So, your first position is called the leaders. The leader's job is to guide the dogs. Uh, they're not necessarily leading you. The dogs behind them are called swing dogs. The swing dogs tell, tell the rest of the team the direction the leaders are going. These two dogs in the back are called real dogs. And they're actually the most important job in this entire team. And of all your 75, you know which ones get along and which ones don't? I would forget. <laughs> Come on, guys. Ready, ready?
what happened right there, I didn't say anything to get the box across the room. What that illustrates is um, dogs remember how you do trails each and every time. So when the dog's been on a dinner rod, they remember that a thousand, a thousand miles. Now, if there was traffic, would they stop? Sometimes. You have to be very careful. That's also what Titus is for. The leader? No, he's the guy up there. He's making sure no one's Oh, oh, your butt. I see. <laughs> Gee, you know better than that, Beth. 
All right, let's go. Um, it's Humphrey. Humphrey, gee. There you go. All right, let's go. These are the purple flowers I'll use to see how hard your winter's gonna be. Yep. Ready, ready, G, G, G. Get up there, Beth. G. No, 
Well, he said not hard, but he said he held his mouth. So you hold its whole mouth short, and you hold on to it until you feel it's submit to you. And you're threatening, and as soon as you feel it uh, kind of like you must release its uh, tension, yeah. uh, then you slowly let go, cut the dog again, so it knows that you still love it. Oh yeah, I'm trying to scrape you guys off. <laughs> Can they continue to do this until they're about how old? Um, one day they'll just look at you and say, Yeah. 
Are these two related? They, they look alike. How do you keep them from breeding with, or, or you don't? Well, we've got a lot of, uh, uh, we've got all our females in the Oh, okay. So you try and keep them secluded. Gotcha. That doesn't always go away. So you do your best to prevent that sort of stuff. You will selectively spay and as well. G. G. Yeah. G. There you go. Oh. So you'll feel a difference through here. So this section I'll mostly be using the engine entirely. And you'll see it's a different feeling of how the dogs are performing. This one you come up? Uh, the white one. The oh. white. Surprised at the looks you get when you go to a grocery store and buy all those kitty pools. Oh, yeah. Bev, seriously. I would have thought they'd be much hotter than that. Just drink it. It's water, guys. We're still fired up, aren't we? Uh huh. All right, guys, you ready? Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey guys, what'd you think? That was fun, yeah.